guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial inspired by Rihanna and Rihanna came out with a new perfume called Riri and lots of you guys actually send me tweets or Instagram messages or Facebook messages asking me to do a tutorial inspired by this lovely pink cut crease makeup. So I took inspiration from those ads and created this pink cut crease wing liner um, romantic fierce glowy skin makeup look. I must say I really enjoyed doing this look so if you want to know how to get this look right here then please keep on watching. So the first thing I'll be doing today is priming my face using my Nivea Men aftershave balm insensitive. This contains glycerin and glycerin makes products stick to it so once you apply this to your face all the makeup that you put over top will actually stick on to that glycerin all day long. <laughs> And then I follow through using my Smashbox Primo Water. I'll be using the Hourglass Veil Fluid Foundation in Porcelain and mixing that with Born This Way Ivory by Too Faced. And I'm working this mixture in with a beauty blender. For concealer, I'll be using my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in Fair Neutral. And I'll be working this in with a Real Technique sponge. And quickly setting it with powder to prevent it from creasing. For eyes, the first thing I'm going to do is prime them, of course, using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. To start off our cut crease, I'm taking this warm mid-brown color from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And with a Morphe M506, I'm starting off by cutting my crease. And I like to go a little bit higher than my natural creases. Just follow the shape. I love this Morphe brush for soft cut creases because it just really defines that line of the crease but still keeps it soft. To blend that out, I'm taking the Morphe M514 and that same eyeshadow color and I'm just blending it out softly. Now taking a warm chocolate color and the same Morphe M506 and just defining that cut crease even more. For the lid, I'm going to take this Morphe 35 and bright pink color and mixing it with this one from the Jaclyn Hill Favorites Morphe palette a little bit. And using my MAC 242, I'm applying this onto the lid and also cutting that crease even more. For the lower lash line, I'm taking Natural Beauty and Best Friend from the Tartlet, uh, from the Tarte Tartlet palette, and with a Mac 228, I'm just buffing this in. And to highlight the inner corners, I'm taking this NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Girl Talk, and I'm applying that using a Morphe E36. For my wing liner, I'm first using my Caffeine D Tattoo Liner in Trooper just to outline the shape. And then filling in using my NYC Black Liquid Liner. To finish off, we of course need some falsies. So the falsies I'll be using are by House of Lashes and these are called Boudoir. And for my lower lashes, I'm using the MAC Upward Lash Upward Black Mascara. Okay, for cheeks, the first thing I'm going to do is warm up my complexion because I want to look warm and bronzy. So for this, I'm taking the Tarte Park F Princess Contour Set. And I'm taking this. 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 
For blush, I'm going to use this Girl Lab blush in Over Rose, and I'm going to swirl the two together. Ariana's blush was focused mainly on the outer sides of her face, so instead of going onto the apples of the cheeks, you just want to follow along with that bronzer you just applied. And then to highlight, I'm first going in with that NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Girl Talk, and just a tiny bit of that will go on the highest points of my face. And then blending the edges by going back in with that blush brush, which you just applied your blush with, and that will beautifully blend the edges back into Flawlessness. For lips, it's super easy because Rihanna didn't really wear a really bold, in-your-face, crisp lip. It was more so a fun, playful pink color, really naturally blotted in and not applied really crisp and clean. So for this, I'm first going in with my Dose of Colors Love Potion Lipstick. And apply it to the center first, smear your lips together, and then with your fingers, start working that in. And then for a little bit of gloss over top, I'm going to use the Sigma Tender Lip Gloss. Like this. And that, guys, concludes my Rihanna Riri Perfume Ad Inspired Makeup Tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my blog, NikaTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. That all is Nika Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so today I'll be bringing you my July Hits in a God Knows. It's been a crazy, life-changing month, actually.